materials you'll need is sign terracotta, yellow concrete, stone brick wall, stone brick stairs, stone bricks, stone brick slabs, and insect polished in the side and insects. Well, those two are kind of actually no, you won't need those two. You won't you'll only need these. So what we're gonna do is first grab your sign terracotta and you're gonna build basically a road going from the end all the way down to wherever Bridging from and to the adjustment camera. Uh, and here's one basically built the whole entire room. And then once you get to your yellow concrete air section, so I can do full box on so I just make it completely straight. Because so people know you're not allowed to pass in this area. And just continue doing your whole, uh, second lane which I would recommend four blocks wide so anything that needs to, to go across it can easily I would do a truss bridge in a small area like this if you're doing a big area I would recommend a suspension bridge or just you know actually yeah I would recommend a suspension bridge or a big area I do a beam bridge so it has like all these supports at the bottom. This is right here is also another type of beam bridge. You can do them very different ways. I'll post the video on that one day soon. Once you are done doing your lanes, go and grab your stone bricks. This will help all your citizens track across the road. Grab your stone bricks. And oh oh you're also gonna need smooth stone. And then just do three wide of like smooth stone for your actual sidewalk. After you get the three wide, go and do stone bricks one more time. And then just repeat to the other side. Once you're done with this side, you're gonna need to pull out your your stone brick wall. I'm going to just make a wall all across this outer layer only. Sides. You're also gonna want to make sure you proof check afterwards for all the walls you messed up. Cause you, I mean, I, I bet you you're gonna at least mess up your wall if you're doing something this long. There we go. And then I'll look for this in in bar. Your I go one two skip. So skip two blocks, place on third. This will make sure so like if there's a big group of people, your citizens can walk around them. And also if there's a car coming at rags, you know, kind of protect your citizens. But even if it does break through disregarding the citizens, it'll slow it down before it, you know, crashes until the wall falls into whatever you're gonna have down here. So like I stated in my other video, it helps in a lot of ways. It may not be even, like I might have one right here when I have one right there on the other side, but that doesn't really matter. It still usually looks pretty good. And once 
once you're done with that, make sure everything's lined up. If you did do it all the way, then you're gonna grab your stone bricks. You're still gonna wanna fill in this whole entire bottom. This will make it to where if you have boats, you won't see that. So it'll, you know, look better. And, you know, using physics and logic, so it'll make it stronger. So just wanna do all of that. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and pause the video here because you're probably need to catch up. And also, I just don't remember, you don't need to polish the end site and polish the end site slab because this is a truss bridge and it will not have supports. The only supports will be the, on the top layer, kind of like a suspension bridge, while it suspends itself in the air. That's why I kind of recommend it in small spaces so it looks better. You can obviously do big spaces. There's been plenty of bridges in big spaces. You just might need a couple of supports, not a lot though. Not as many as you'd have on beam bridge. So now once you are done with the whole bottom section, if you want to, for the ends, you can add like a design, like do some of that. That's, that's completely up to you though. Depends if you like it or not. Now, for the actual top part, you know, want to grab to the end of your bridge. It's there. You just want to basically build it up to a decent height. It depends how long your bridge is, but if it's enough to where you only need one beam like this. Like this bridge is decently long and I have to go up and down a couple times. So it kind of depends how high you do it. So I just counted and I found I went nine blocks up. So I'm going to go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and do nine blocks up this time. Cause really it, does, it looks very nice. Go check out my suspension bridge too. It's nice. So we're gonna go nine blocks up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to do that to this other side. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. So as you can see on this bridge, we went straight up, straight out. So that's what we're gonna do thing. Now you might get one like this where you have place one mill, but that depends how long your bridge is and I, you can't really control it unless you know, you make it like really certain but that will take quite a while to do and it's really unnecessary so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna go straight up which is nine blocks we're gonna go straight down which is should also be nine blocks if you want to count you can again to double check but i'm just gonna do it i mean if it's not nine blocks that's fine as long as both of them are the same height If you can hear them in our room, just ignore them. They're being really loud. I want to do that exact same thing to this side.
and there. So as you can see right now, obviously we're not going to do a fit or triangle, so this is kind of up to you what you want to do. So what you could do is you could attempt to fit another one there, or you could just put a smaller one, or you could put it right across. When you make your decision, I would go ahead and make the other side to even decide what you want to do or not. Make sure you get exactly on the same block and all of that. Then I'd go and make your other side. Pause this video here because I'm going to go ahead and skip forward to when I have it done. Figure it out because I figured out what I did to my other page. You don't want to delete your whole entire second one, okay? Go ahead and delete that. And what you want to do is you just want to continue doing this one because your bridge, it can go a little longer than you needed. So go ahead and put that there and then go ahead and start building your secondary one. And then let's say you you know, stops right here. Then you could, could build another one or end your bridge right there. You know, it kind of depends. Now remember, if you want to keep it like that, you can and just build some more triangle or attempt to build one, one as the same size you can. It really depends up to you, but I mean, if you do it this way, then you know, it will work better. It may look better too. It depends where really you're building at. You can see right here, my triangle is gonna go over just a little bit. I mean, that's fine. Now, of course, if yours did just fit all, then you ain't really got to worry about any of this. But that's kind of like 50 50. Sometimes even less if your triangles not fit perfectly. But really, it's not too bad looking like this. But as you can see right here, it only went over by a little bit, not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and do this R1 and show you what it looks like completely done with both sides. Now, when you are done with both sides, you're gonna wanna pull out your stone brick slabs. So kind of like what I did on here, you're gonna do one obviously all the way down here. You're gonna do one dual all across here. That will give it the proper area to kind of put an X shape. But I wanna go on this bottom one. So it's, it's gonna leave this top two sections. It's gonna go all the way across do it to both sides then you're gonna go here so it still has that little top part just go all the way across to that other end It'll give it kind of a cool look. If you if you would like, you could do that, you know, and then it stay. But really, this gives it kind of something kind of cool. It's a cool little, you know, thing to it. Also, I do not have anything proper to record my TV with, because that's why I have Minecraft on. So, uh, I am just using my phone, so, sorry if it is a little, you know, unstable. My legs are currently in pain. Now, once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and go corner. We're just going to do like a diagonal and hope we get at the other corner or at least close to it on that other bridge mine weren't actually in the corner so i i just got close to it so it just kind of depends too so like right there my again the corner so i just do that and then it's close and do that to the exact same side. Do 
and in the middle of your area it should create kind of like a square kind of like that and then continue the diagonal And do that to the exact same other side. Once you're done with both X's, I got one last step. This, I don't think, is actually on bridges, but it'll help a lot. So basically, just go this end, the broad thing across. So now people can, you know, go to your thing, walk up the side of it, and, you know, get up to the top. I don't really work there, but I mean, it does on here. So that's why we're also going to go like that. Just do that on both sides so you know it'll make your city more realistic and people can't just literally walk right up it if, if they want to climb up it i mean sure just gotta get the police department on them but um, this makes it a little more realistic you don't make the bridge look any better but i mean it doesn't make any it doesn't make it look any worse either so i would do this Helps out quite a bit. And then once you're done with this, this is pretty much it. Got a nice looking bridge on underneath it. Also, I did put that there just to you know, hold up this and the frame. So that's not actually part of the bridge. And it's pretty nice on top. Now, I also did this thing. I'll show you in a second. We'll do this to where if we go to nighttime. I had torches on, so it kind of lights up like that. And then I also put a cylinder down here so boats can, you know, go past. That is completely optional, and you can do it kind of however you want it. Like on this bridge over here, I didn't add any lights at all, neither with my suspension bridge, but then also with my other beam bridge, I had lights down at the bottom. So that's kind of an optional thing. I don't know if bridges really do it. I mean, it looks nice. Subscribe. I'll see you guys next time where I'll either show you how to build a roundabout or a beam bridge. So that is goodbye.